going to okay so i i spent uh, i spent a good amount at walmart today and i only bought a few things it was the clothes that sent me over i promise <laughs> but I, I needed to buy some stuff i i just decided to do a target slash walmart slash glam goth beauty haul for you because i'm excited i am so excited to show you all everything that i have and that i've purchased first one let's start with the makeup so this is i've been looking for this foundation for so long um i actually couldn't find it in any walmart in my city so i naturally forgot about it i found it again i went i was in the aisle um just buying these two little things and um, I ended up seeing this on the same aisle and I was like, could it be, bitch? Anyway, I got the color Nude. It's the number is 1506. And this is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation. Oh, I don't like this glare right here, but I don't know. How. See, I don't like that either. Oh my God. Hold on, hold on. Okay, is that better? I feel like that's better. I like it better. Anyways, I'm I'm actually gonna use this because I'm going to a concert this weekend, and it's to see Def Leppard touring with Motley Crue, Poison, and Joan Jett. Anyways, so I'm gonna since I'm gonna be at a rock concert, I do need a face that's going to stay even when my oily skin is acting a fool. I also want to try uh, this concealer that I bought. It's a full coverage concealer, and it's in the shade Fair. It's by Winky Lux, and it's called their Peeper Perfect Concealer. That's so cute. And three liners that I couldn't, I, I couldn't pass them up. I tried, I was like, you know what? Just get one, test out the formula. I couldn't, mm -mm, I couldn't. I, I had to get all three. I left one color. It was like a teal, it was like a mint green. And I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> but these, I mean, look at the vibes. Like they even match my background. Like because i gravitate more towards these colors these are the pro fusion cosmetics bright lights pastel liners um well actually no one of them is pastel and the other one is a uv neon liner so this one's the pastel obviously and these are the uv uv the uv neon liners so this one is your typical lilac it's lavender and this one the orange one is called strobe and the pink one is called flash so i have a look in mind for each and every one of these and i'm going to use them in the next couple of videos because okay, so i was i am on the hunt for a good matte blurring a poor blurring pressed powder and the only one i could find was a high-end one i was not about to spend big bucks on a fucking pressed powder you have me all the way fucked up if you think i'm gonna do that so i was on um actually when i was buying that concealer this powder came out and it's by the same brand winky Lux, and it's called their matte point powder it's a transparent setting powder for all skin tones now i don't know how, how i don't know how true that is but it comes with a little mirror oh and it folds back cool so it has this is what it looks like i'm hoping that it does work for me because it says it's soft blurring i mean it says it's a, it's a soft matte but it's blurring it's a pore blurring press powder so i'm hoping that it works um now on to the fun things i mean makeup is always fun but these fun things i'm so stoked so in my last vlog I showed, I don't know if I showed the blush palette, but I definitely showed this palette. Now this is the Dark Renaissance palette by Glam Goth Beauty. This is Marley, the goth mama herself, as the morbid Lisa. Like, come on, stop it. But anyways, when you open this palette, it has a mirror and it has a frame around it. So she's the portrait in like in the cover she's a portrait and when you open it you're not the portrait and i love that she did that i love that that was her concept i mean look at these shades y'all like when i tell the camera isn't even doing this justice but when i tell you all i can do my entire face with this like if i don't if i i have a business trip coming up if i don't take my bronzer my contour my blush um 
my setting powder for under my eyes if i don't take that if i don't take my eyebrow powder i'm fine because i can create a whole ass eye look and do my, all of that for on my face with this palette so, like, i use picasso it's this one for my contour and my overall bronzer so if i want it to be like a smidgen darker up here which i i usually do <laughs> and like right here um i'll go in with sinister chapel it's this one and then for my eyebrows, of course, I go in with the black. And to for my under eyes to brighten them up, I go in with David, which is this one. It's a more yellow toned. Another one that I purchased is the Hopeless Romantic Blush Palette by the same brand. Now look at the detail again. The detail. I love it. You open it. Again, another mirror in the shape of a heart. And then... You have these blushes like oh i wish the camera would do it justice i really do these are just like i use every single shade and i'll just take my blush brush and just go through all of them tap tap put it on everywhere and that's it we're good to go nice compact i mean this is a big palette but the pans are huge on both and i just feel like they're really worth your money and i oh i'm so excited and then with this palette um i got a free mirror it's for gold mirror um i have this one and i have her goth barbie one but that one is it's a little bit bigger um and it's a little bit lighter this one's a little bit more dense which i like though so i have that one and then i got this other free mirror which is my favorite one because it's black and red of course um but i bought i got this one for free with this purchase so she's been collaborating collaborating with bet noir like this is i think her fourth collab i don't know if it's called the heartbreaker necklace or the hopeless romantic necklace i don't remember what it's called to be very honest with you but I'll, I'll have a link down below because i feel like if you are into gothic couture like couture you need this you need this in your collection this is what it is like you can't tell me this doesn't look beautiful like it's stunning i am taking this on my business trip as well because it is too beautiful like this is the outfit this will literally be the outfit oh my goodness and with that necklace i got this free mirror which i was very appreciative of because i love the gold mirror but just black and red i mean my hair is black and red like I i'm obsessed so now on to walmart um i showed you the winky lux purchases those were at target but now on to my very short walmart haul um this is just your just regular schmegular <laughs> black sweater i just wanted a sweater for the fall time or the winter time sometimes it gets really cold at my office so or if i want to act you know dress sporty this is my yin yang blouse look at it oh my god it is so pretty bitch i actually want to wear this tomorrow should i wear this tomorrow i think i should i call this my yin yang blouse beebs when he saw it he was like oh your checkered blouse and i'm like no yin yang <laughs> but i love that on the sides it has like these little things to tie and like cinch in that way your waist looks smaller so the next thing that i have is a vest now this vest might be a little too juvenile but it's because the outfit that i thought of in my head it it looked pretty okay and i really oh i cut myself um the idea of this vest and i'm gonna tell you this before i show it to you the idea for this vest was there and it was a good one but the execution wasn't the best so don't judge it too much you're gonna like the outfit i have in mind for this but this is what the vest looks like it's a sweater vest i know these skulls the mouth area just looks a little janky i know but just just hear me out this with a mesh long sleeve shirt underneath okay can you imagine that with leather pants or just regular black pants with boots platform boots i could do chains on the side as well that would work with a simple just one necklace it's 
so the best is already too much <laughs> and da, 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 and that's it i feel like it will look really pretty i'm i'm gonna go because i'm really hungry and i still have to film another part to another video so i will see you tomorrow
with all the goodies that I bought today. So I got some stuff from Spirit, from Walmart. Well, one thing from Walmart. Um, from the dollar store, it's just some miscellaneous stuff. And from Ross. Ross was the real banger here today, y'all. We're going to save that for last because I'm just shooketh with the, with the stuff that I found at Ross. I only found two things that I really liked. But those two things, whew, I can't wait to show y'all. So this is the Dollar Tree mixed with Spirit Halloween and Walmart. So this is what I bought at Walmart. Um, it's basically it says it's good to be wicked. And it's a little sign like this. I love it. I want to put it up there above my little vampire um, painting that I have. I mean, this is so fitting. Like Walmart really has some cute signs. And it was only like four four dollars and some change. Like rounded off to five bucks. You know, like, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. So I bought these frames. They're eight by ten. They're pretty cute. I bought three because you know those play ghoul prints that I showed you early on in the vlog? Well, I'm hoping that they fit these frames. If not, then I have some other prints that I want to print out at Walgreens. And I will I was going to print them out at by the little. <laughs> I was going to print them, out, print them out as an 8x10. So I'll just save these for those. But um, I really hope they do because I've been dying to put them up. And I feel like I've had them in my bookshelf for too long. I want them on my damn background. And then, okay, so that's it for the dollar store. Now we're moving on to Spirit Halloween. I'm so excited. So one of the things I got, I was very, okay, so I was very underwhelmed by Spirit Halloween. I don't know, they just, maybe it's because I went too late, but they really, oh, my hair. But they really didn't have much. And the stuff that they did have was just so overpriced. Some of it they sell at freaking Hot Topic and Spencer's for a cheaper price. If anything, you can buy it on Amazon too. Um, I don't know. I was just very over, like not overwhelmed, underwhelmed with, I feel like people just hyped it up a little too much this year. But the cute little things that I got. So these were $8.00. I love the movie Trick or Treat. If you've never seen it, you need to see it. I bought it for Biebs for our first Christmas together. That was one of his um, Christmas presents. But I love Sam. He is my favorite. Um, I actually have a shirt of Trick or Treat. And it's like half his pumpkin face and half his actual like ghoul face. And oh, I love it. But I bought these socks. Look at them. Aren't they cute? Oh, I love them so much. So I use these long socks for the winter time i will put these on put a pair of fuzzy socks on and then my boots and my feet are so warm so i bought these specifically for the winter and then i also got okay i got these fake nails which i bought two pairs of the same fake nails that i bought at target yesterday but this is what they look like i thought they were so cool I don't know if you could see them, but they're self-adhesive, so which means that they have the glue already on the nail. So I'm going to have to get my little tweezers and just take off the glue because I've noticed that when I use nails that have self-adhesive, they don't last as long. So I want these to last. They're cute as hell. And I love long stiletto looking nails. So these are right up my alley. Which And this one, this last one, oh, they gave me a coupon. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. I'm going to use this. <laughs> I'm going to use this online. Um, this I bought for beads. It's called the Unholy Bracelet. Now, I don't know if y'all have seen those um, religious bracelets that have the pictures of the saints on them. Well, this is kind of like an occult version of that called the Unholy Bracelet. Oh, shit. These are tarot cards. Not all of them, right? So this is basically what it looks like. So I'm actually really excited to give this to Biebs. He's out of town right now with um, visiting his little brother at college. So he's not here today, but which feels very weird. <laughs> this is very odd. Um, and then this, I think this is for my mom. 
I think my little brother bought this for my mom, but it basically, it's a little towel and it says another, gl oh look, another glorious morning. Makes me sick. <laughs> this is Winifred. She's my favorite Hocus Pocus witch, of course. So we're just gonna put her back into the bag. Anyways, on to Ross. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna show you the first thing that caught my eye at Ross. And it was these shoes. They're by Steve Madden. So this is what they look. I'm not going to show you both because there's no need. But look at this. Like, can you not? Come on, bitch. Come on. Like, this is me. This is me in a shoe. Come on. It's a size 8. And they're Steve Madden. See? Steve Madden, like, van-looking shoes. Um, oh, These were $35. You best believe if it's Steve Madden, it would have been so expensive. So $35. Oh, it actually tells you comparable value, $70. There you go. I was actually thinking it would be $80, but no, I was I was close. So I can't wait to wear to break these in. Like I am just come on. Like these shoes are everything. Honestly, don't be sleeping on Ross, y'all. But excuse me, Voodoo. Thank you. This next one is a blast from my past. And the reason I say that is because it's a Juicy Couture bag. And let me tell you, I was obsessed with Juicy Couture when I was in middle school. It's so gorgeous and it's gonna like, it is so, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Ah, isn't it gorgeous? But this is your typical black Juicy Couture bag. It's faux leather, I do, be I believe. It has a gold hardware, the gold plaque that says Juicy on it. And then you open it up. It's huge, okay? It's huge inside. You open it up and it's fucking ginormous. Like, it's huge. And then it has a zipper pocket in here plus another pocket that's not a zipper in here. But this was originally $109. Y'all, I got this for $30 at Ross. $30! That is nothing. Oh my God. That's all I got um, right now. I'm actually going to see if those prints that I got at the Santa Carla event fit in these frames. I'm going to hang some stuff up and then I'm going to end the vlog by showing you all how my back, my full background looks. Give me a second. Hey guys, so that is my completed, well, it's, I want to say it's semi-completed. Um, don't mind that, I have to get rid of that. That has to go somewhere up here, but that's the welcome spirit sign I was talking about. It's good to be wicked, of course. I had this one over here, but it just looked weird, so I put it up there. Frames are too small for these, so I just ended up pinning the plastic uh, you're not going to be able to see it when I'm filming, really. You'll be able to see some type of reflection. Um, but those frames, I'm going to use them for the other prints I'm going to get, which I have four. So I'll probably have three there and like one up here. But yeah, you guys, I don't know what freaking size those prints are, but they feel like velvet, dude. Like there's just, oh so worth the price. Hey guys, but and that's it. That's the end of this vlog. I'm probably going to film the next video next weekend but you guys won't be able to see that video till the first saturday of october because um i'm gonna put y'all somewhere because my arm is getting tired oh <laughs> i'm starting a new series every october called spooktober now i'm sure there's people that have done this the the name just came to me out of nowhere and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start filming two videos and uploading them every week for the whole month of October. So this year's theme is spooky graphic eyeliner. So I'm going to do, you know, jack-o'-lantern eyeliner, you know, bloody eyeliner. Uh, leave down in the comments of what type of graphic eyeliner you want me to do. Fuck it, I'll do it, you know? But it has to be spooky. Has to be spooky. I don't care 
if you want glitter i don't care if you want rhinestones whatever you want but it has to be spooky that's the only condition um <clears throat> so yeah that's for the month of october and then that those type of videos are going to be going up every saturday and hopefully during the week I, i'm shooting for every wednesday of october we can upload like a spooky food video because i do have this like little baking business i want to start this coming october hi my baby voodoo oh my he's gotten so big look oh Mm, this is voodoo follows me everywhere i hope you liked this vlog and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you joined my ghoul gang if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one bye